Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with MapKey, how to repeat MapKey, how to work with the models or tables and repeat table in the drawing and much more. And why? Because I got a question from you if I am able to create a custom repeatable map key, but really custom, because right now on the top or the previous repeatable map key generator was only about open model and do something. But this custom repeatable map key, you can do really what you want with your preferred configuration. And I'd like to explain to you all these details. So if I will sell a custom repeatable map key, you can read that over here is the one example and you can start from top to bottom and generate the as the example. So first of all, you are able to select your custom key sequence. So for example, QQ. And then over here in the example is that if you create any map key and you need to repeat, for example, open model and do something or select coordinate system one and do something. So what does it mean? You have a model one, model two, model three, or coordinate system one, two, and three. So logically, some repeatable things. So what does it mean? What will be repeatable? You have to change by this percentage, my variable percentage. If it is two, three times in the map key, change it two times, three times. Let's do it. So what does it mean in this example? I will show you in the example if I will copy downstairs here. Yep, so I will select this example and copy here. Over here is two times my variable. Over here is the list of your model. Your model will be, for example, model one, model two, or name will be something different, three, and something different, four. What does it mean? If you will hit the generate map key code, the system will create at the beginning the map key QQ because you specified the key sequence as QQ with the name multimap key. And then you can see that the system automatically change variable based on the first, second, third or fourth or twenty-fifth model or coordinate system or any selection what you would like to apply in Creo and then will be applied a couple of times. Yeah, you see that system really repeat the map key. How many objects are here? This is the number of repeatable code. And at the end, copy and paste to your config file and run map key by your session. But maybe you will put the question that you do not know how to create your custom map key or how to specify it and so on and so on. So I have prepared one example. So let's try it and I'm go really step by step. Yep. Yeah, so I will update this web page. So we will start really from the scratch and now jump to Creo. Over here is the really nice example. It's a, for example, model what I downloaded from the GrabCAD. So thank you guys for this example. It's any model, yeah? So I choose, for example, this simple model. And over here, for example, we would like to apply a couple of times that material is from the PVC, for example, or you would like to change the color for 25 objects, or you would like to apply the model check or something like this, yeah? Or make a measurements. I don't know. So what does it mean? We can select the first object from the menu or from the hard drive, doesn't matter. So what does it mean? You would like to open it. And on this model, what is here, we would like to apply the properties, for example. So we would like to change the properties and change material. So really, you have to create a map key where this logic will be applied. So create anything, but for this example, we will change the material. Yeah, and I don't want to open 25 components or 100 because you can see that there's many objects here and apply the material, for example, PVC and spend 25 minutes and click thousand times. Nope, we will do manually only one time and then repeat by the repeatable map key generator from the web page. Let's have a look. What is the logic? Logic is that first of all, you need to open model, apply properties, save model and close. Open second one and do it again and so on. So if you would like to run the map key, you have to really create the map key from the scratch. 
so I will load the map key. You can directly select the map key from here. And when Windows is open, you can create your new map key. Doesn't matter what will be key sequence because it's only for the example, so QQ. And really, we have to prepare and create the map key. Before I, I will start, I will prepare the one name in my... So, for example, we will start from this model. And really, I like to, for example, open this model. So, I really only copy the name to the clipboard. I will go back to the map key and... And I will hit record. And we need to open... Control V and enter. Yeah, because we have specified name. On the open end model, we would like to use the model properties, apply the, for example, the PVC, select double click, the system automatically apply the PVC. Yeah, okay. And you can add another parameters, information, relation, or what you want, yeah? So make the modification, close, and save your model. It's necessary, and it's necessary to close the model. So close the model. And now it's done, so we can stop the map key and we need to save this new map key to your config file, to working directory and to specified config pro. Yeah, map key is ready. And we know that first model is done. If we would like to do it for all models, now it's necessary to make a modification. So open and found the config. And from this config pro, you can see that this is the full map key to open model. Yeah, you can see here, open model. It's a two times, so we will change it two times. And then make the material, apply material, confirm. I hit the button, control S, and then save and confirm and close. Simple to say. So this is the map key what we need. And we will go back to the web page. Our new key sequence will be, for example, Q1. And over here in this area, we will apply our map key and we will modify it a little bit. What does it mean? The first sentence is created from this row. So over here, you have to really create as the continue map key. So it will be not your map key QQ, but it will be continue map key. So map key continue, and first one is the command pro open. What do we need to open? We need to open many times our variable. So I will change the first original name to variable. Yeah, two times. And also, what is really necessary, that we will apply at the end the backslash. And why? Because our map key has to continue and the map key is able to continue only in if the backslash is at the end. Now we need the list of models. I will change it later. I will show you how to generate it from Creo. But for now, for this example, we can generate the map key code and we, let's see if the shaft ISO engine will be updated here. And as you can see, over there is the shaft. What does it mean? Open shaft, apply parameters, open model ISO, and so on and so on. And at the end will be the last object, D917 will be here. Yep, so will be automatically modified. But back to Creo, and what we need now, it's to create the list of model. You have two open possibilities. You can do it by a command prompt or create a list to take the file or directly from Creo. I'd like to show you that how to do it in Creo because I'd like to show you how to create the table directly. And now in Creo, we would like to create a bill of material from this assembly. So let's have a look. Create new drawing. We don't want to use the default template and we don't need a really good name, so we can write what you want. Yeah, it's up to you. It's only really for temporary usage. Or you can use the use drawing model file name. It's up to you. Yeah, it's Creo 8 now, so we can confirm OK. 
and for example we will specify that it will be size A2. It will be really empty space and what we would like to define in the create repeat table table. So create a table and we need only table which will be looks like this and over here we need to create the repeat region. So select right mouse button left for confirmation and if you will select right mouse button again the system will show you that other the repeat region yeah, again go to ma go move your mouse to the cell right mouse button left and now the icon is visible and now we transform the standard table to repeat region if you will select the double click you can specify for example that in the first cell will be name so assembly member name if you would like to have a position okay not necessary now but repeat index and if you would like to have a quantity if you can repeat quantity so it's really easy and on the top you can write if necessary that will be name is the index and over there is the quantity as you can see the width of the table is not so good so i can move mouse again here and use the right mouse button a couple of times the system will select necessary selection and with left confirm and right mouse button you can again see here the width and for example width for the 25 characters we can preview it's good enough okay and it's fine as you can see right now we have many objects but maybe it's repeated a couple of times in the assembly so if you will jump into table and repeat region you can specify the attributes select repeat region and if you will set no duplicit level and confirm done the system will count the duplicate and you can see here that for example this object is 28.5 in the assembly and another one 32 times one six times and so on and so on okay we have a table and this table we would like to save to the hard drive so you can directly from the menu select save table as the csv file and in working di directory you can specify the name of the table so for example q7 is the name of the table and confirm what does it mean if i will search this table yeah i will select q7 system will jump directly over there and CSV file is really easy opened by Excel. What does it mean? We have list of objects and we can really easy copy and paste this list to the web page. We'll make a copy and we don't need a lot of information so the list is clear. Yep, everything is here and we can generate the map key code. Now the code is generated, it's a really huge one, so you can click anywhere and control A as the whole selection and control C and jump to your config profile. So I can directly open the config profile. Yep, a double click. And this is the old one, so we can quickly delete and control V. If you go will select control home, the system will jump directly at the beginning of the config profile and we can see that we have specified the map key q1 so we will hit the q1 and the system will repeat this command let's have a look if it is working and so save the config file load the config file to your creo select file option and configurator editor and import from working directory If you will hit the OK, the system asks you if you would like to save the config file again. No, I don't want because it will be same file here. Yeah? So we can only confirm do not show me in the future and I don't want to save it. Now we can close everything because the system will load the information directly from the working directory. Yeah, we can hit the Q1 from the keyboard and let's have a look. Now you can see that system open model one by one and apply 
the parameters, for example, the PC as the material for every selected component one by one, and you don't need to click nothing. Take a coffee or coffee break, and if your boss asks you what you are doing, you can select and say, I'm changing 1000 objects. So over here, it was example how to create your custom multi-map key by webpage 4ksite.com. Hit the like button and take me a coffee and it will be great. Bye-bye. Vladimir. -bye.